You're watching ABC7, where news comes first. Coming up on Good Morning El Paso. We're all here tonight for one beautiful, simple reason. We U.S. House Speaker Mike Johnson was in Las Cruces for the opening of the 38th National Republican Congressional Committee Battle Station. We'll tell you what some protesters had to say. A New Mexico local, state, and federal leaders gathered for a binational meeting. The efforts being made on both sides of the border. The transition to college can be emotionally challenging. Coming up, advice from a mental health expert on how students can manage pressure and stress. And in Storm Track weather, we continue to track the heat along with any chance for rain. We'll let you know when you could see that rain and if a cool down is on its way. And we are tracking your Thursday morning commute, what you can expect out there on the roads this morning and all the road projects that may affect your morning and afternoon drive. Live, where news comes first. From the Mesilla Valley and Las Cruces to El Paso and the Borderlands. Florin. And I'm Rosemary Montañez. Good morning, everyone. It's Thursday, August 22nd, and let's start with our top story. It's your voice, your vote. Tonight, Vice President Kamala Harris will close out the Democratic National Convention in Chicago, trying to turn the joy and excitement of the week into votes. Yeah, but last night was filled with music, celebrities, and politics on day three of the Democratic National Convention. Vice Pre Presidential nominee Tim Walz also taking center stage. Here's Michael Yoshida with this report. Someone has the same problem. It has yes. to be somewhere out there. Why didn't she realize 20 years ago? Why now? Why would she open it? <laughs> ABC 7 News is now available on any of these streaming services, as well as the KVIA News and KVIA Weather and Traffic apps. 